A local group of students are hoping to prevent mass shootings, especially in our schools. Yeah, they've actually created a, a device that might save lives. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live, and Mariah, you were able to get a look at their project. Tell us about it. Yeah, this is a project that local students have been working on for the past year, and it was for a STEM competition called E-Cyber Mission. They said their goal was to make some type of community impact. Well, they got second place in the statewide competition, but they said their work hasn't ended there. Four Raleigh teens say enough is enough. It's not just adults. It's happening in schools when it's active, when everyone's learning. It's just sad it's happening because it's not supposed to. This year, the Gun Violence Archive says there's been more than 300 mass shootings in the U.S. It's tragedies like what recently happened in Uvalde. That's brought these Carnage Middle School students together to create this. Obviously, this is not a real gun. This is just a fake BB gun. 13-year-old Noreen Pye says it's never been loaded or fired, and it has similar parts that work the same as a regular gun. We thought of two different um, access points, so to say, and that was the trigger and the safety mechanism. By using a combination of elements, including a transmitter, a battery, and motor. <laughs> Pi says they created a device that automatically locks the gun when in the range of a signal. It's like your Wi-Fi, but instead of service, it flips on the gun's safety. Bottom line, it won't shoot. Preventing the shooting altogether in the areas where we don't want somebody to come and shoot, right? That idea has not been explored much. Umesh Pai, the team's advisor, says the students aren't wanting to change gun laws, but instead utilize technology. And while that would mean modifying guns, what could be a tough challenge? They're not deterred. We would like to implement it in schools and talk to gun manufacturers. Does it make you feel somewhat safer knowing that you guys created something like this that could yeah. potentially be used? Yeah. yeah. They say it's not just a project that could potentially impact their community, but also save lives. The team's advisors say that they really want to make sure that they're continuing their work. They plan to go out to some of our local schools to see how this device can be implemented and especially help spread awareness. Reporting in Raleigh, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. Young people working to make a change. Thanks, Mariah.